Hey guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial on my channel. My name is Rico Richardson and today I'm going to show you guys how to start with DaVinci Resolve 16. Okay guys, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to blackmagicdesign.com and then we need to go to products. And once you've clicked on products, you're scrolling down and you'll see that it says editing, color correction, and audio post-production, new DaVinci Resolve 16. If you click that, it will bring you to the DaVinci Resolve page. Now, you can click the download button or you can just read everything that's being said over here. Basically, it says what kind of features it has and stuff like that. If you click the download button over here, uh, you will have two choices. The first one is DaVinci Resolve 16, which is the free version. And the second one is the DaVinci Resolve Studio version, which is only $2.99 in dollars that is. But it's a one-time purchase and you've got free lifetime upgrades. So that's absolutely amazing. It's very different than a subscription module. And that's why I really recommend this to you guys. But let me show you guys how to really get it. So all you got to do is pick the operating system. So Mac, Windows or Linux, click the Windows in my case. And then it asks you to fill in some details. And once you've done that, it'll start downloading. And once you've downloaded it, make sure you install it in any designated folder that you like, and then open up the program. And this is what you'll see. This is the first window that you'll see. You see that I've already made a couple of videos that I've posted last year. Um, what you can do is you can change the database. I'm not going to show you guys how to do it right now. I'm just going to keep everything as is. You can double click the untitled project or you can hit the new project. That's what I recommend and you can give it a title. So in this case, let's call it tutorial for DaVinci. DaVinci, there we go. Let me create it. And now the project is being created. And this is the first screen that you'll see. You see that we've got a media pool over here and then we've got a window over here which will display the videos and then we've got a cut area over here and that's because we're in the cut page the feature resolve is, is is very very efficient when it comes to workload the first tab is the media tab in which you can add your media clips so let's say i want to because this is your master and this is the power bins i'm going to explain that in a different video but this is the master this is where the magic happens so if you right click you hit new bin and let's call this video you see that we've now made a video tab what i like to do as well is make another one and call that audio because i'm using audio effects in my videos or when I'm trying to uh, record something externally, I put it in there and music as well, and then I edit it later on altogether. So let me double click the video one. And now what we need to do is we need to import clips over here. And you can do so by hitting file, and then click on import file, and then click on import media. Or what you can do is just hit the right mouse button, and then import media, and then it'll take you to the designated folder. This, this is the sound design folder that I've used for the uh, 2019 video. Uh, let's go back to my YouTube channel, Tutorials DaVinci Resolve. Uh, double click it, and now let's select these videos and let's hit open. And now it prompts me with this message that the clips have a different frame rate than the current project settings. Would you like to change your timeline frame rate and video format to match? I say change. Uh, because that way everything is as it should be if you want to know what your project settings are right now you can click this little gear icon and then it'll take you to the project settings tutorial for davinci you see that we've got a full hd timeline resolution we can change that all the way to 4k ultra hd uh, you see that i've got a pixel aspect ratio of square a timeline frame rate which is 29.97 which has to do with the fact that my drone clips are being shot at this frame rate uh, you see a video monitoring i'm not going to uh, do anything in this uh, video bit depth 10 bit stuff like that let me hit cancel so here are the clips that we've just imported into the video folder and now it's time to cut them so we're moving on to the next tab and that's a great thing about davinci because it takes you throughout the entire process so it allows you to import your media, then it allows you to cut your media, then it allows you to edit your media. You can use uh, special effects or you can add titles to it or anything you like. 
Then you can go to the Fusion tab, which is basically the After Effects of Premiere Pro or After Effects of Adobe. Then you go to the Color tab, in which you can color grade your video. Then finally, you can adjust your audio any way you like, using an equalizer or anything like that. And then once everything is done, you click the Deliver tab, and then you give it a file name, pick the location, Make sure that single clip is selected instead of individual clips because if you've got individual clips selected, every cut that you've made uh, will be a render of its own. You can change the video format. I usually change it to MP4 or I always change it to MP4, leaving everything as is. I'm exporting in full HD right now. And then I'm going to hit add to render queue and it'll bring it up over here. It doesn't right now because we don't have a clip, but let me show you guys. If we go to the cut page and let's add in this clip. There we go. Now we've got a clip in the timeline. Here we go. And now we go to the liver page. You see that? Here's our clip. I'm going to give it a file name. So let's call this DaVinci Test. I'm going to pick the location, which will be different than this. I'll explain this in a different video, a scratch disk and the DaVinci render cache. And I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that later on, but let's click the 2019 YouTube channel tutorials, DaVinci, there we go. I'm going to save it. Uh, it's being saved as an MP4. I'm going to hit add to render queue. And now it's on the right side. And if I hit start to render or start render, you see that it starts to render. And while we wait for the render, DaVinci is very, very efficient when it comes to rendering. Uh, it's way more efficient than Premiere Pro, at least in my experience. Obviously, I've got a great computer as well, so that helps. The free version is very based on the CPU and the studio version is more based towards the GPU. So make sure you keep that in mind when using one of those versions. And now it's already completed. It's completed in 17 seconds. And now we can go to the designated folder and then find it. But this was just for demonstration purposes. So let's go back to the cut page. And the cut page allows you to just swiftly move through the uh, timeline and just create cuts. Now you've got shortcuts that you can use, which you can find by going to DaVinci Resolve and then keyboard customization. If you click that, you see that here are the keys and then it will show you where the shortcuts are. I already made a couple of changes, uh, so I can't really show you guys something. But what you can do is you can click this and then save it as a new preset and then either import a preset if someone made one or export it uh, if you want to export it yourself or you can delete a preset as well. So let me close that one down. Uh, you can use this by scrolling through the timeline. If you change this, it'll just allow you to move uh, this header manually instead of the entire uh, area over here. So I'm going to click that one because for now that's the most easiest thing to do. And all you guys need to know right now is how to make a cut. So let's say I want to cut out this area. So I'm going to hit Control B and you see that that's the blade tool. It gives a cut and then I move it to here. Then I hit Control B again. I can select the clip by clicking on it and now I can delete it and you'll see that it's been ripple deleted. So the clip on the right side has been brought to the left side. And now as you see, as you can see, if we if it spacebar, you will see that it starts to move and jump towards here and it didn't go fluently. Um, so that's all you got to know for the cut tab right now. And then if you go to the edit page, you see that the cut is made over here. And if you want to add some titles, DaVinci Resolve has got some great standard titles that anyone can use. They've got lower thirds as well, but let me show you guys the titles. So what you need to do is if you don't see this area over here, click on the effects library and then it'll pop up. And if you hit title, you can pick titles. Now make sure that if you pick this one, the text one, you will see a text over here. If you select the clip, you'll see that in, with the inspector over here, if you don't see it, you need to click it. You can change the title. So I'm going to call this Norway 2018. There we go. And now I can change the font. I can change the face, the color, the size of the font. I can make it very small or very big. Uh, I can track it, but I'm not going to show you guys right now because you can do that in the Fusion tab. You can change the position, the Y position and the X position. Uh, you can zoom in, 
zoom out it's basically the same as the size uh, you can use a rotation angle to rotate it and then you can use drop shadow and stuff like that and if you want to use something else let me delete that one you can use this one which is basically a fusion text and if you click it you see that you've got several options over here so let's say i'm going to call this norway 2018 as well there we go and now i want to change the text a little bit so i'm going to click this shading and you've got a few elements but all of these elements are like presets so we've got a red outline and then we've got a black shadow and then we've got some elements in it and if you saw the video of me building a computer you will see that i've used an idiot one which had a like a red background so i can show you guys how i've done that you can see the video up here but first i'm going to the first one so i'm going to keep this as is i'm going to use the second one as well the red outline i'm going to enable it and now it's red but i don't want it to be red i want it to be black so i just drag it over here in the spectrum you can give it any color you like uh, but i'm going to keep it black and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the third one black shadow i'm going to enable it and you see that now a black shadow has been added to the text and it really makes it stand out and then the final one i want to use the outline one i'm going to enable that one and i'm going to click the box one and i'm going to use the blending as composite and change the level from character to word so now the entire word has got a box over it or behind it actually and i can change the color like i've done and then if i want to change the opacity all i got to do is change the alpha there we go so now we can see through just a little bit and that's how you can quickly edit text in davinci resolve so this is the edit page so you can do basic cutting over here and then you can go to the edit tab and then add stuff in sound effects you can drag audio beneath here so if i'm going to add some audio in here let me do that real quick like a drum snare roll i don't know why i've picked this but you can just place it underneath it and now when we play it you see that it's been added so that's absolutely amazing then after you've done or you want to change stuff or make this a fusion clip you can right click it and then click new fusion clip you can go to the fusion tab and what you need to do is you need to make sure that this is over the clip that you're going to edit in the fusion tab so now we see that here's the clip and here's a media in and a media out and you can do all kinds of things in between and make an awesome clip with awesome transitions and effects and stuff like that but i'm going to save that for a different video so let's move on to the next step and the next step is the color tab in which you can color grade your footage so we've got the lift camera game which is basically the shadows midtones and the highlights and let's say we want to give it some orange and teal type look so a little bit teal and then some orange there we go and obviously this is way too strong but uh, it's just for demonstration purposes you can color grade your clips like this or what you can do if you double click this everything will be reset you can use these wheels as well so i can give it some offset or i can darken it or brighten it up uh, in the highlights and i can do the same for the midtones and i can do the same for the shadows bring it up or bring them down and once again if you click this symbol everything will be reset back to normal so i'm going to click all of them to make sure that everything is reset and now we can change the contrast over here as well and we can change the saturation and we can change the hue so this is very very weird but hey if you're into this stuff you can use that so let me undo everything there we go and now everything is being reset you've got these as well and you've got these shadows midtones highlights offset so you can use this as well if if you don't understand what lift gamma gain is and make sure you just click this one and you'll basically get the same results you can do some masking with this area over here so let's say i want to mask something out i can click this I'm going to just drag a box and now what i need to do is you see that it's being masked out but you need two clips for this uh, so make sure that when you go to the edit tab and you hit the alt and then click it so now it's on top of it you need to make sure that you've got a version one and a version two 
and you need an alpha output so right mouse add alpha output and then just drag this towards it and now that's being masked out so let's say i want to change just this area of the image you see that not the entire image is being affected just this area over here and then once you've done color grading your clip it's time to move on to the fairlight tab in which you can edit all your audio you can see the levels how high everything is uh, you can do some edits and stuff like that i'm not going to show you guys right now because it's it's very complicated not so much because it's very complicated but it will drag out this tutorial so i'm going to use a dedicated tutorial just for that let's move on to the next tab and the final tab is the deliver tab and once you've done editing everything you wanted to edit you can give it a file name as i've said before pick the location uh, i'm going to put this on mp4 uh, full HD hit add to render queue and you can get a prompt like this which says would you like to replace an existing file with the same name that has to do with the fact that I just showed you guys a quick uh, little render so I'm going to hit replace and if you hit start render you see that it starts to render I think it's a fantastic program to edit your videos on. I'm very glad I've switched from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. If you've got any questions on how stuff works, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can get an answer to you as soon as possible. And that's it for this week. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did you know that you can now either buy me a coffee or become a patron of this channel? By doing so, you can personally help me grow my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!